everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Robot Arena 2's Tournament of Robotic Champions. Now, we completed the lightweight tournament and the middleweight tournament. So now we're going to get right on to the heavyweight tournament. I've designed a special bot for this uh, occasion and I hope he works out really well. And without further ado, let's get right into it and see the competitors, shall we? Alright, looks like we've got a good match up here. Sentinel versus... Should have gotten my notes. We'll go get my notes real quick. Red Zone Sentinel versus... Ah, the Warrior Grog, I believe. I need to go get my notes. Yep, Grog the Warrior. From t what is he, Team Good Old Boys? Oh, and they come out not so strong, getting stuck on the opening gates. I selected a new arena stage for the heavyweights, specifically just for the heavyweights. Uh, looks like the Compressor Arena. Uh, compressor Arena is good for uh, being able to actually have opponents that don't get stuck on the fence. <laughs> Grog the Warrior goes in, goes up the ramp, and he's looking to get those heavy hits on Sentinel, who's apparently stuck. If Grog the Warrior can take advantage of this stuck Sentinel, he's getting in those heavy hits, and it looks like Sentinel's about to fall, and he falls! He's flipped upside down. Can he self-right with that flipper of his? And it looks like he's able to nudge himself backwards. Whoa! But Grog, Grog the Warrior comes in there with those heavy hits on the underside. Sentinel's defenseless as he's counted out, and Grog waits for an easy win. Oh man, and Grog the Warrior goes home with a not so impressive 590, 529 points. Oh man. Oh no. Maybe this wasn't the best selection for an arena. Okay, we're gonna have to try the next one. Let me go get my notes real quick. Alright, terrible. How unprofessional of me, but I've got my notes now. Whoo, okay, you can't do it without notes. Okay, and I gotta hold gotta hold this up. Okay, so that was Sentinel versus Grog the Warrior. I've got it written down. Next we're looking at Bear versus Ronin. Hopefully they'll give us a better match. The hugs given by I'm definitely looking forward to it. Gasping for air. Here's your chance to put the squeeze on your opponent. Aha, see there's the compressor arena. We haven't seen it. In action yet. There's Bear. I love the texture on Bear. Definitely a good good bot there. I love the symbols on Ronin. He's got some nice symbols there. I believe Bear specializes in heavy damage. Ronin's gonna be specializing in maneuverability and speed. Speed and maneuverability. Bear is slow but deals a lot of heavy damage. Apparently I found out from um a different tournament, the uh, the uh, Robot Arena Forever, that apparently those bear claws are much better fitted onto a um, uh, horizontal spinner, not vertical spinner, horizontal spinner. But those uh, bear claws seem to be dealing a lot of damage here. Bear with an already impressive 706 points. Ronan getting torn apart right now. It looks like he's stuck on the ramp. Come on, not another bot stuck on the ramp. What is this, Arena Cursed? Oh, jeez. No, come on, Ronan. Oh, he's, he's counted out. What? No. Bear, don't take the easy win. Push Ronan off the ramp. Or at least you should have. Uh, Bear wins the match with 729 points. We move on to our next match. We're looking at... Uh, do, 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 do. Coal Miner versus Emergency. For a minute there, I had that mixed up with my own bot because my own bot has such a similar name. Hmm. Enter the compressor arena. Uh, the way this is going the so quickly, if the next two matches seats. don't take up the entire five minutes in the round, your chance to put the or the entire three opponent. minutes in the round, we're going to be able to move right on to the second um, preliminaries. There's Coal Miner with a strong emphasis on heavy damage, Emergency with a strong emphasis on defense, and, and um... I guess you could say flipping? <laughs> what, what strength is that? I'm not quite sure. Emergency comes in first. Hot and heavy, flipping over Coal Miner. Coal Miner being able to move on both sides. Not necessarily called self-riding, but uh... Um, ooh! Reversible! Fully reversible! And Coal Miner's into the compression arena. Our first time seeing the compressor, compressor arena in full action here as Emergency presses Coal Miner up against the compressor rods and just smashes him like a used car. 
Oh, this is bad for Coal Miner. It is not looking good. He's counted out with three seconds left. Completely useless. No! <laughs> oh, that was a good match and a bad match at the same time. It was good performance, but over too quickly. We've got Team Sparks Emergency taking it home with 402 points. Very surprising coal miner on the, his part. Uh, props to him for being able to accumulate even more points with only one or two hits before he was inevitably be bleh, inevitably pushed into the compressor uh, arena trap. Now we've got looks like little metal friend Spikehead's little metal friend versus Snowjob. This arena has a lot of love for those bots willing to get close. Here's your chance to put the squeeze on your opponent. <laughs> nice little close up of my pathetic. The crowd is poised, the bots are armed, and we're ready to begin the destruction. But who knows, it might just work out. Come on now, don't be cursed. Give us a good match. Give us a good match. All right, we got Little Metal Friend coming right up in there. Is it Friend or Fiend? Nope, it's Friend. Oh, and a heavy hit from Little, little Metal Friend, but... Oh, no. I could have sworn uh, Snowjob was um, reversible. If his tires were just a little bit bigger or placed more center. Come on, Little Metal Friend. Give him a push. Give him a push. Flip him over. Put him in the compressor arena something. <laughs> no, this arena is cursed. This arena is cursed! I will never select this arena again! <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? And Spikeheads takes it home with 107. Ah, this is terrible. Come on now. Um, we've got one match left. <laughs> no, we're gonna have to We're gonna have to go straight on to the straight on to the semi uh straight on to the next round, the preliminaries. Well, stay tuned to I'll meet you there. Okay. Yeah. And we're this back, folks. We haven't given up yet. We've got Wide Load versus Hanky Panky. Here's your chance to put the squeeze in on your the opponent. second round of the heavyweight preliminary tournaments. So it looks like we'll be able to finish the, the entire preliminaries. Uh, it's if, it, if it runs on a little long, no, no, you're just going to have to do the whole thing. The, uh, the starting rounds for the uh, preliminary Time round one to was just too, too gear. bad. We've got two... Uh, Two spike users here, wide mode coming in with some quick shots against uh, Hanky Panky's preliminary weapon, or a uh, beginning like his uh, primary weapon. Hanky Panky, <laughs> I hate the name of that robot. Hanky Panky, um, <laughs> oh no, he's pushing, he's pushing wide mode into the compressor trap. Oh, and wide mode gets compressed like an old used car. It's pushed right in there. Um, Hanky Panky's have gotten impressive 1,686 points already. Totally dominating this match. Looks like Wide Lowe's lost both tires. He's getting completely compressed. Oh, Hanky Panky's taking this home for sure. Wide Load looks like he can only take one or two more good hits. And his battery will be exposed. One more and he's out. And there it is. Hanky Panky takes it home with an impressive 1,792 points. Another quick match. In our next one, we've got Eye Poker versus Big Dog. Oh, uh, that sounds like a, an interesting match. One's a push bot, and the other one's only got spikes for weapons. That sounds like it'll be interesting. Let me get them entered in real quick. Our two heavyweights here. Oh, man. I think this arena is cursed. I've never seen anything like it. Enter the compressor arena. Okay. Welcome to the one stop one time bot weight loss. I don't know program. if I'm gonna change the Here's arena to put the squeeze on your for the opponent. um I guess it would be the semi-final rounds or the final the rounds. The bots are armed. But since and this is the preliminaries, the it's the preliminaries and then the semi-final rounds and then the final rounds. Tournament of sixteen over here. One, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, it's going by fast, too fast. All right, boys, give us a good show. Give us a good show. What do we got going on here? Bang! Eye Poker comes in with a heavy hit first against Big Dog. Eye Poker with only 16 points. Big Dog looking like he's stuck. Eye Poker's certainly gonna push him off of that, push him off of that ramp there. Please don't, don't just leave him. Don't just leave him like this. 
Alright, Eye Poker getting into side damage against Big Dog. Big Dog not really doing much. He's got to push back pretty hard if he's going to want to get Eye Poker into that compressor arena trap. It's his only real hope to deal damage. Alright, Big Dog not seeming to have a lot of uh, a lot of push power compared to Eye Poker. Eye Poker having all the push power here. Not sure what that's all about. Eye Poker pushing Big Dog. Up against the ramp again. Eye Poker racking up points here already at 938. Big Dog definitely trailing at 158. We've got a minute and 57 seconds left in the round. Oh, and Big Dog loses his uh, for front forward ram. His only real, not necessarily even a weapon. Eye Poker just going in for the devastating tackle attack right there. Looks like he's dealing damage directly to Big Dog's chassis now. He's not having a good time. He's losing a lot of chassis durability already at half a bar. Eye Poker racking it up right now at 2,984, 3,000. Still going up. <laughs> I, oh, it's like, it's like Caterpie versus Caterpie. Eye Poker used tackle. Big Dog now smoking, definitely taking a lot of damage. The crowd's definitely loving this tackle match of two apparent, apparently tackle champions. Ooh. Big Dog with two smoking holes now, ironically right where Eye Poker's spikes seem to be hitting. It, he's literally got his eyes poked out. He's smoking in both the sections where Eye Poker has poked his eyes out. Oh, it's a devastating match as Eye Poker racks up over 4,930 points. Big Dog seemingly with only one or two good hits left to the chassis, trailing at 1,138 points. Looks like he's not having a good time right now as Eye Poker backs him into the arena spikes. It pushes him up against the arena side ramp. Devastating attacks right here by Eye Poker. He is just not having any mercy as his opponent really can't fight up against him. Um, Big Dogger, a uh, Big Dogger, Big Dog has got his chassis completely caved in right now. And honestly, I'm just either waiting for the count out or the final hit to his uh, battery. He's he's gonna get that com control panel. If he can get enough distance and really line up a long shot, there it is. One or two good more, and there it's it. That's it. With five seconds remaining, Eye Poker takes it home with over 6,000 points. Not even really a match. I'll be glad to put him up against a good spinner or flipper later. Squeeze on your All right, right, in this match, we've got Raptor versus Deadbeat. I've never felt such a cold chill as I felt between the opposing bots this evening. Okay. Woo! Sorry, I was looking ahead to my match against uh, Backyard Ripper. Woo! And both bots come in strong with some heavy hits, and now they're both on their back ends. Who's going to be able to uh, self right first? Ooh! And Deadbeat actually loses for taking the initiative there. Raptor using the uh, momentum against his opponent to self right. And now it looks like Deadbeat's just going to have to lay there and take it. No pun intended. Oh, man. And Raptor's just going to tear into him as it counts down to zero. Oh, what a shame. Well, hopefully Raptor will get a better match next time. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, looks like I'm up next. I'm going to have to undo this curse myself manually. We've got Backyard Ripper versus the custom bot that I've made for this tournament my heavyweight entry in Russ Robo's Robot Factory Gold Miner oh Robot Army that's right I changed it to Army I keep forgetting that Woo! I gotta get in there okay let's move my notes out of the way I gotta remember the I gotta remember the controls for the spot and I wish I could hold the mic still but I've got to get in Z, X, C, V. Okay, there we go. Wish I had set this up for the directional buttons instead. Alright. And I got the proper camera angle. Got the camera angle fixed. I gotta get down the ramp. Now, don't want to get stuck like the other, other earlier guys. My strategy is simple. I'm going to attack his main weapon and try to knock it off before he can get it up at spinning speed if I don't get stuck on the ramp. I've got to avoid his main weapon against my tires, though, because it's definitely going to... Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> and you've already lost your main weapon. You don't stand a chance now. I'm just going to pick him apart. 
if I can push him into the compressor arena, good. If I can just deal massive amounts of damage, even better. I love his artwork, though, like the bolts on the side, the, the nice font with the ripper, backyard, good font usage, good uh, tears on the side of his bot, you know, just, just good overall chassis artwork that I'm going to now commence to completely destroy. Oh, yes. Take damage. Get pooed on. <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance against me. I'm going to the semifinals. I'm going to the semifinals. Nothing he can do now. Oh, heavy hits. As I sink up all three weapons up, all four weapons up against him. I designed this bot to be kind of like a pick bot, but I just managed to put in four all at once. Um, it can self right under certain conditions. But I should have made the picks longer because I don't think you can self right if it runs low on power. And you have to get all four picks to self right if any of his picks go like if any of his picks, oh, <laughs> his picks, go, like, if any of his picks get chipped off, he can't self right. And I take it home with an impressive 4,430 4, points. Woo! All right, everybody, and that was the Robot Arena 2. Uh, Tournament of Robotic Champions, Heavyweight Preliminary Rounds. Stay tuned and look forward to our Robot Arena 2 Heavyweight Tournament of Robotic Champions Semi-Final Rounds as Goldminder goes on to the Semi-Final Rounds. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.